I knew I wanted to make something delicate, like the sacred miniatures in medieval art. I didn't want to erase a violent gesture, but to transform it. It was important to me that in the final artwork, the handcuffs would be unlocked. Most people don't think about abortion care as sacred, but to me and to many people, it is. Unfortunately, laws and stigma make it so that a lot of abortion experiences are ghettoized, forced to happen physically and emotionally far away from where we live and work and are cared for in other ways. But abortion is part of the fabric of our sexual and reproductive lives. People who work in abortion care are incredibly strong, soft strong, as a friend of mine says. I loved talking with Gloria Gray about her work, and I think of the transformed handcuffs as kind of a prayer for her and her staff and for all the people her clinic serves. I wanted to turn a token of hostility and reductive thinking into one of protection and permission. Nobody can steal from us our ability to make these transformations and to say these prayers. Mother, there is the stone on the hearts of some women and men, something like an onyx cabochon cut, which hung on the wearer seeds bad dreams. Speaking for the small dreamers of this earth, plagued with nightmares, yearning for healing dreams, we want the stone to move. <laughs> 